What is up guys, Slimfields here, back in a new video and today we'll be attempting to beat the Tsar Bomber game mode in 60 seconds Reatomar. So obviously it's the hardest game mode in the game so we are adding a little twist to it. We're allowed to pause the timer using cheats. So if you do want to know how to do this I'll be dropping a link down below so go check that out. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Here we go guys, we are in the Tsar Bomber game mode, the timer is running out but all we need to do, press F1 just like that and look at it, stop right over there, okay nice. So now we have all the time we need to get everything, every single thing in our house, so there we go, we're gonna grab Timmy first, a flashlight, a checkerboard, so I'll just add a little time lapse of me getting everything from the house because it is a little slow so yeah here we go okay so i think i've got everything in the house now so i'll just repress f1 and all we need to do now is wait for the timer to run out we've got literally everything in the house it is a hundred percent empty so let's see for how long we can survive i hope that we can beat the game using these cheese but you know what tom bomber is so hard that i'm not even sure if we can anyways let's oh look at that guys we've got everything from the house no empty spots in our shelter it is totally full so let's see what the little handbook has got for us today so no one's hungry yet because it is day one, who cares about stupid note? Just get straight on to day two, come on. Day two, bring it on, come on, I'm ready. Um, our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Trips to the surface are a big risk to our health right now. Well, you know what, if they are a big risk, I'm not sure we, c we should risk. I mean, after all, it is only day two, so we do not want to lose our character's health right now so whoever designed this fallout shelter was a genius but we can't really tell if that green stuff dripping from the pipe isn't an included feature uh, we should probably try doing something about it yes take the boy scout handbook not sure how that can be useful but just take it and take that green yucky stuff away from my shelter please Help. spiders seem to be operating under the assumption whoa spiders bug spray i mean it is bug spray, but I mean, spiders are bugs, right? Spiders are arachnids, not bugs. You stupid. Shut up. They're bugs. Okay. There's one thing that can drive spiders away and stop climbing the furniture. It's the bug killing spray. See, I told you. It was right all along. But now, unfortunately, we did lose it, but we did get some extra water. <laughs> Look at all our water, guys. We are set to survive as many days as this tar bomber game would want us to we literally had nine water bottles can you believe it guys that's why i love doing the cheats by the way link in the description down below go, go check out my tutorial what was that a rat rats are usually smaller than cats whoa and what's with the double tail yes we cannot let that thing get to our supplies take the axe kill that stupid rat sized cat some of us are keener to go outside than others. Either way, it's time to choose the most able and most responsible person for the quest to gather more supplies. I think Lil Timmy can do the job. I think he's ready. He's looking at his bright future oh, of the expedition. Wow. Look at his eyes. But anyways, we're going to send Timmy outside. What will we send him with? How about um, the gas mask? Because they did say that the neighborhood was highly radioactive. So I think that the gas mask would be a perfect option for little boy Timmy right over here. Okay, let's go. A few moments later. Okay, day nine. If there's one person we truly miss, it's our great uncle Terry. Of course, you know, it's our boy Terry. Everyone loves Terry. He used to tell brilliant stories about turtles, elephants and wizards. Yes, take the Boy Scout handbook. So we knew it. We found the photo between the pages of our Scout handbook. Oh yeah, I actually saw it right over here. Oh, there he is, Uncle Terry. Let's go look. Little family photo. Yes, sir. 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 So, time to ration supplies. 
Everyone's good, we don't need to ration supplies. Ted and Mary Jane have been butting heads lately. Today they got into an argument about movie characters specifically. Who would win in an ultimate battle, Snow White, Seven Dwarfs, or a group of Wasteland Bandits? No one loves bandits. Everyone hates bandits. Of course, it's Snow White, Seven Dwarfs. Yes, Mary Jane, you are right. Here we go, guys. Um, Mary Jane objectively won the debate. Yeah, everyone's chilling, it's fine. Just a little friendly argument between Ted and Mary Jane. Oh, okay, so it is Mary Jane's birthday, of course. Give her cards, why not? I mean, what's the point of having cards in a nuclear apocalypse apart from making Mary Jane happy? Come on, see? She's all happy now. See, Mary Jane is happy, 100%. Okay, so day 13, Timmy is back. He brought back the gas mask, two bottles of water. We've got stacks of water right now. Can you believe it? Look at all this water. We've got a bit of food too, so it is looking pretty good for us. Um, time to ration supplies, starvation for big man Ted. I will give double supplies to Timmy because he did bring back a lot of water. So day 13 there isn't a lot of space down here and we can smell everything. One of the wall bricks got loose today and revealed a hole. Felt pretty sick. It's terrible. Should we investigate? Yes, remove it. That's literally disgusting. Day 14, no one sit What? How can a smell break the radio? It's literally the same thing as the last episode. I forgot what happened in the last episode, but let's find out right over here. Um, what happened next nearly gave us a heart attack, some crazy rodent, a reptile, whatever this crazy mad creature was, leapt out and started jumping all around the damn shelter. Uh, so it did break our radio and, yep. Who should go outside today? Hmm, how about just send Dolores? Yeah, Dolores can handle herself outside. Um, give her the suitcase give her no not mary jane's card give her the sh checkerboard you never know when she can get tired in these expeditions and why not a bit of water yeah let's just go for the water just like that is looking pretty good and so i'm just going to check out the what's next stuff we need to make contact with other wastelanders and await for the instructions from the military so for now we're just going to, um, I'm not exactly sure what we can do now, let's just check out this, uh, check this out, my bad. Um, we didn't expect to get a phone call as soon after the atomic bomb drop, yet here we are, you can clearly hear a phone ringing outside, so I'm pretty sure that is the friendly wastelanders, so I think big man Ted should go and answer it, because we all know Ted could handle himself out of front, you know, it's big man Ted. Big man Ted. Okay, so they were planning to go to the wasteland, but as you can see right here, before they could make the third step beyond the sheltered doors, an unknown, an unknown creature started growling at them, so maybe it could be good, honestly. It can't, an unknown creature doesn't have to be a bad creature. So I don't say we shoot it, like imagine if it's a friendly dog or like just a random little thing, like just a, a little hamster or something. But anyway, so what was it? Decided so to guess what was coming for us. Yes, it was a dog. See, exactly. I guessed it right. Timmy claimed he couldn't sleep last night due to Ted's loud incessant snoring. And he um, retaliated about the size of Timmy's ears. So is it me or these guys want to make Timmy's ears smaller with a meds gear just because Ted's was laughing at them oh, can someone just tell me what the hell is wrong with this family please oh but good news guys dolores has come back let's see what she came back with let's hope that she's got a bunch of goodies for us let's see so one can of soup two water bottles she lost the suitcase lost the checkerboard so it's looking pretty good you know if Mary Jane is feeling excellent, we are sending her outside as soon as possible. ASAP, let's go. Open in the name of freedom, came a shout from outside our door. So, um, should we open? I'm not too sure. This is making me a bit anxious, but reassure ourselves. We have got the rifle, we have got the act. So if it's someone bad, I'm pretty sure that we can defend ourselves. So, what happened? 
Did the soup can go away? Is it me or did the soup can go away? Oh no! Well, they actually gave us two water bottles. I mean, look at all of this. 10.75! Whoa, I've never had that much water bottles. I'm not even lying right now. So, time to ration supplies, dehydration, starvation, and that's it. Anyways, day 21, we will send Mary Jane outside with the axe. Because we have got two weapons, so if we want to defend the shelter, we can do that. But for now, we're just going to send Mary Jane on an expedition. Hopefully, she comes back with some good stuff. We're not big fans of a strange smelling shelter, but when we started to smell something burning, well, we quickly realized how much we prefer the nothing is on fire scent it had before a fire. We don't have time to save them all. What do we save? Okay, so what can we save? There is a fire right now. We have to decide either the scout handbook or the first aid kit. I think we're gonna go for the first aid kit because it is 10 times more useful. Let's be honest, guys. No, the fire, look at it. Look at what it's done. It nearly burned down the family photo. That's, our, that's Uncle Terry. You can't do that. Whoa, Mary Jane is back. But she is looking really, really sick. What did she bring back? A soup can? Yes! Thank you, Mary Jane. Exactly what we needed. No way. We got a radio. I mean, guys, I'm not even joking. This is my best run yet. We've literally got everything we need. First aid kit, um, portable radio, and map. Like, what else do we need in this game? I'm not going to talk too soon, but we are literally guaranteed survival right now, guys. I'm not even joking. Okay, I just sent Timmy to the wasteland with a flashlight. As you can see, there's an empty spot in our, in our shelter right over here. So anyways, Timmy went out to the wasteland. Let's hope he comes back. We cannot afford to lose the MVP, little boy Timmy. Okay, so there is a tracer. Um, the least we could do was take a look at his offer, but for some reason we don't really trust him, but we are still going to risk it. We need that weapons. Weapons are way more useful than all these stupid musical instruments. I don't even know why we actually bring one in our shelter. Later. Use the map to find the location given by the military, so we do need to use the map in this situation. Let's... Oh, but Timmy is back. Oh, let's go. Timmy's back. Let's see what he brought back. Okay, Timmy is back. Two cans of soup. Two water bottles. That is perfect. Thanks, Timmy. We will, we will give him double supplies for that. Thank you so much. Okay, day 34. Everything is looking pretty good for us. We've got a bunch. We still got a bunch of supplies. So, a travelling salesman paid us a visit, so these are his offers, so we can give him the gas mask for two cans of soup. Will we do that? We do have a lot of soup, but there are four family members, which is a lot to feed. So you know what? We are risking it straight away. We need those two soup cans if we want to survive for at least 15 more days. The next day. Yes, so we'll send Mary Jane outside. What will she need? How about some water? We've got a bunch of water. Stay hydrated. Okay, so they say that they can use extra supplies. And the last time we went on the supply run, we noticed a damaged tank stuck in the rubble nearby. So yes, we can send Timmy. It is a bit of a risk. I'm scared that it's a trap. We could say bye to Timmy or a miracle could happen. We never know anyways. Day... 38 let's hope it's something good let's hope timmy comes back yes timmy came back nice oh and uh, they got a spare gas mask perfect that is literally perfect okay so it's been a while since we showered so the shelter is getting really stinky so they want to wash themselves with something because they do have any soap so I know that soap is kind of half liquid so at least the bug spray is liquid I'm not sure if it could help let's just use the bug spray you know they can't get infected by any bugs so 
They lost the bug spray. Oh no! I did not see that. Oh no. Mary Jane is gone. Ah, oh, this is bad. The commotion coming from outside could only mean one thing. Bandits. Mary Jane probably walked right into them. We need to face the possibility that she is not coming back. No, I can't believe it, Mary Jane. <laughs> okay, so Timmy will go outside with the gas mask. Nice. Okay, time to ration supplies. They're both dehydrating. There is only the adults left in the shelter, Ted and Dolores. Okay, so let's see what's up here. All hands on deck, there are people on the other side of the door and they don't seem f too friendly. In fact, they promise us a painful death at least 17 times already. Uh-oh, this is looking really bad. Take the rifle. We need to scare these people. We can't let them kill Ted or Dolores or even both. We never know what these bandits can do. But anyways, let's see what happens. Okay, we were able to defend our home this time. What if they come back? That spare ammo we brought come in ha came in handy. Okay, nice. A few inches later. For now, uh oh, alert! There is a gang of firefighters outside, or at least they are dressed like ones. They've been banging on the door, ordering us to surrender all of our supplies. They claim they'll drive us out with fire if we don't comply. Guess the definition of a firefighter has somewhat changed recently. How do we oppose it? The rifle worked last time. We will reuse the rifle for this problem. Hopefully we can st scare these idiots away. They will not steal our supplies today. So what happened next? Okay, so the rifle broke. But other from that, otherwise from that, everything's looking pretty good. No! Oh no, Timmy's dead. No. <laughs> Oh no! I can't believe it. Timmy did not come back from the expedition, which means that we still do not have an axe, unfortunately. Oh no, not again, not again, not again! All hands on deck, there are people on the other side of the door and they don't seem too friendly. So it's the guys that promised us a painful death at least 70 times. Use the padlock. Day 49, we did lose the lock. Uh oh, we have got zero weapons left, guys. I think we're going to have to risk it. Send someone outside. You know what? Who's in the best health? Um, They're both fatigued and hungry. So what we'll do, guys, we're going to give Dolores double supplies. Hope it makes her stronger and send her outside right now. So what will she take with her? Oh, we literally do not have a lot of supplies left. So you know what? Boy Scout Handbook. If you need to make a fire, if you need to collect food from the wasteland, you can use that little handbook. Day 50. Oh my gosh, guys. This is my new record in the top on the game. I cannot believe we survived until day 50. But anyways. No. No, not again, not these stupid bandits! Just when we thought we might have a quiet day, we got invaded. A group of bandits is on the other side of the door, demanding we walk out hands in the air. Will this be the end, guys? We have no weapons left. All we need to do is click this button right here. The moment of truth, day 52. Is this the end? 3, 2, 1, go.